to my channel. I am coming in today with my anniversary collection update and fabric haul. So the first part of this video will be other items that I have picked up. Um, so what I will do once I go back through the video and edit, I will put a timestamp right here where you can skip to just the fabric. But this first part will be all about um, a couple other things that I picked up, which should go relatively quick. And then we'll jump right into the um, fabric. So, okay, let's get started. Now, if you saw my previous video, I will link that up above in the iCards. I'm supposed to be bringing you today my um, indie pattern collection. But yeah, priorities. Who doesn't love seeing fabric? Not that you don't like uh, seeing indie patterns, but that will come after this video. So let me share with you what I have picked up and why I picked up these things first. Thank you. Shout out to a subscriber um, of mine, Teresa. Thank you so much. And I had actually filmed me opening this but i don't have enough room on my uh i was having space issues here so i had to delete that but anyway this is what i received and it is clear but it is a pattern ruler and it actually has different things on it that i um my other i think my other um ruler didn't have and one is being um arm no, crotch depth. It has a crotch depth measurement area right here in the middle. And that's what this is. And then it has this large body curve. Let's see. You might not be able to see that. Let me see if I can put a white piece of paper behind it. Yeah, you can see that better. See that? Thank you so much. This is a very nice tool, especially for the crotch depth, because I am working on, um, you guys know, the Simplicity Pants in the... Uh, McCall's uh, culotte shorts so you can see that a lot better so thank you so much Teresa it was not wrapped up messy at all it was protected because this is an acrylic uh, ruler so it was protected very well so thank you so much for that I greatly appreciate it and so the other things that I actually purchased um, if you follow Sean on Kittenish Behavior she had mentioned these uh, shoulder strap thingies um, retainers and so I was like oh that is, is interesting obviously you can make something like this but um, I just want to see what they look like and I can just always you know duplicate this myself but you should be able to see these so I did go ahead and order these on Amazon and it came from the quilted bear it took maybe 10 11 days to get here but they were very inexpensive um, Oh, I don't have the price in front of me for this. I only have prices for the other stuff. I don't remember how much it costs, but um, I can always link it down below and you on my Amazon list and you can see. Um, but yeah, because I know I'll be needing this for a piece that I'll be creating. The other thing I picked up was, if you have been following, oh, just basic, let me just show this. I just needed a pack of um, bobbins. In my machine, I have a Brother PS2500, and it's an older machine, and it's only certain kind of bobbins that it likes. And sewing parts online sell the bobbins um, for very inexpensive that I like or that my machine likes, I should say. And this five pack, I'm looking at the, um, no, I'm sorry, it's a 10 pack. It was only $5.99. So yeah, love these, these work with mine. And I tend to get different things from my machine from sewing parts online, unless I see it on Amazon or something. Um, but typically I've been very successful. Things I've needed for my particular machine, sewing parts online always have a lot of options. Um, for things that work for my machine. The other thing I picked up is if you've been following um, the Stitch Sisters, they've been they did a zipper zipper video, a zipper how to install an invisible zipper video, whatever. And so um, I believe it was Nikki was sh sewing on a brother machine, and I have a brother machine, and I asked her if, what was the part number for that particular um, zipper foot because they absolutely love this zipper foot. It is a con concealed zipper foot. This is what it looks like. Uh, let me see if I can kind of show it a little bit better. But this is what it looks like, and it has that little groove at the bottom. If you can see that, it has that groove at the bottom. And so, 
left or right hand side very nice and i did like the way it worked and so um she was saying that brother did not have this but the janome brand um should work on the brother so i was like oh i'm gonna take a chance i'm gonna order it and i got this also from sewing parts online it was 9.99 and it's the janome um eight five nine eight one five zero zero two is their stock number on their uh website and it does fit it fits my machine perfect so i'm excited about trying this out um so thank you so much for that nikki um and then also while i was out there they had another zipper foot that looked pretty interesting it's called an adjustable zipper foot a low shank um, zipper foot let me show you what this look like this is what it looks like so it goes on like this and um, am I holding this right sorry no it <laughs> I wasn't it goes on like this so you can um, put so if you want to get real close and what I saw the reason I picked this up because they said it was good for putting in piping and different things like really good you can really push up against it so if you're you know looking down this way and the fabric is going in you can really get really really close and so I'm liking this more than the, the zipper foot that comes with my machine the zipper foot that came with my machine is this one very typical but sometimes I find with installing zippers it doesn't get as close to the teeth as I would like so I was like oh I'm gonna try this and then with the concealed zipper foot yeah so I will keep you guys posted on how those work out and then last but not least I ordered and this was did I say this was only three dollars and ninety nine cent from sewing parts online for my machine so um, and it fits my machine it had a bunch of machines that it worked on the last thing I picked up was a pico foot and I got this because of a project I'm working on for my business that I need but let me show you how this looks and I will definitely share with you um, how this worked but this was $15.99 and again from sewing parts online can you see the little ridge let me see there's a little ridge, curved ridge, if you can see. You probably can't see that all that well, but there's a little curved ridge. I'll take a picture and put it put it up here, but there's a little curved ridge that you feed the fabric, and it, does, it turns it a little bit, um, turns the fabric, and then does a stitch, like very narrow, and so I wanted to try that. And um, yeah, it fits my machine, and yeah, I will be giving this a try. Again, I'll take a picture because you really can see it there, and um, I will share how that went. So now let's get into so here the, is the update on my um, anniversary collection. First update we have chosen a different location. <laughs> Our heart was set on going to Hawaii, and um, but it was quite expensive, the tickets, and um, we just didn't plan early enough for that because you can um, get tickets for less, and we didn't want to be playing around with last minute and all this other different stuff because I'm a planner. I can't take that, but anyway, um, and so uh, we decided to switch from the Dominican Republic because that was our second option, but then we we're like, okay, we have potentially two more trips we have to make this year and so we're like let's save some money we're going to stay local and go to our favorite locate one of our favorite spots we love going to we went on our anniversary trip probably four years ago and so i will share that destination and all of that later um but yeah so but not, it doesn't change any of my outfits uh what i'll be sewing so let's get into the patterns so the other update i have in this plate this video will go under my anniversary collection playlist um but i have the um remember i showed this pattern i will be doing the simplicity 8046 i am no longer doing this pattern only because I have been finding a very hard time trying to find the perfect fabric for this because of the um, bottom that you need to do here. And the reviews I saw was like, you need to have the, all the reviews were like, you need to have the right fabric. Otherwise it looks very like, a garbage bag or don't drape right and everything like that so I was like you know what I'm not gonna waste any time with it I'll just I'll put that off to the side that'll get done eventually another day then I said oh I'll make one of these because I haven't made one I've made this before and I haven't made one in a while and then I thought 
well, I haven't even worn that dress at all this year. And so I was like, just take the dress. Why make another one? Because it's pretty, it's flowy, it's all, it flows right into the collection of flowy and everything. So that's what I will be doing. So I won't need, that's one less piece I will be making. So let's get into it. So I am, um, this fabric I will start out with first. And I have my, you guys know, I do my little swatch book, nothing special. All I do is, you guys know, I just take the little information there and cut a little swatch. That's how I do it, just so I can kind of be sane about uh, what it is that I will be talking about. So let me jump right into it. So the first piece I want to show you, pull up a chair. This is going to be a little long. I picked this up from Fabric Mart. This is actually a dark brown white taupe nylon lycra. This is for active wear in swimsuits. This is specifically for, and you can't, I don't know if this is coming across. It's a, it's kind of a dull dark brown but I picked this up with the intentions on doing this pattern which I do not have yet and I don't know if I mentioned it I can't recall in my recent video that I did um, patterns I will be buying after my no buy but because this one comes with a class this is the uh, Beverly Johnson swimsuit class on Craftsy I wanted to try it and um, this is one of the fabrics that I picked up for that and um, or or I will do it in this fabric. This is also a, this is called um, a black ocean green multi nylon lycra also for swimsuits. This one here and everything is washed. So I have folded everything to the wrong side. You guys know that's how I store my fabric. So everything is, when I lay it out, I don't have to worry about flipping it over, but this is it. This isn't that pretty. I'm thinking I will do this one first because I might not have time to do two, but I do want to do that swimsuit in this. Isn't that pretty? So this is also swimsuit fabric from Fabric Mart. This one was $1.50, no, I'm sorry, $6.40 a yard on sale. And I got one and a half yards. The other one I just showed you was also $6.40 on sale. And that was a dollar. I'm sorry. And I got it, got one yard, $6.40 per yard. And I got one yard. Sorry. So that is that. Um, so, and I don't know if I shared that I wanted to try to do a swimsuit. That was added after the fact. So we'll see how that goes. You also know that I am doing, um, Simplicity 1111. I am doing View D, the top, because I made that before, and View E, um, the pants. So I really like this top. I made that last year, and so I picked up some fabric, also from Fabric Mart. They were having a really good sale. The, and this is all not all, all at the same time. I've been buying all of this fabric I'm showing you now for the past month and a half. And so now it's time for me to go ahead and do my haul. But this is a blackberry violet multi, it's a polyester lycra. It was $2.99 a yard and I got one and a half yards. And so this is what I got. So this kind of a, a geometric mosaic print there. So, yes, that will be that top. And the bottoms, I'm thinking I'm just going to run to Joanne or Walmart and just get some simple um, knit bottom weight fabric, nothing too fancy, um, to go with these in a solid color. The other one I picked up was this orange, pink, black, multi polyester lycra. This is an abstract. This is called the ITY knit, but it still feels much like that. Um, that the one I just showed you and so it actually goes like this so isn't that cute so that's going to be that same top simplicity one 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 so that is that is that I love when I wash all my fabric and it smells so good but anyway so moving on now let what's next so I'm also doing the Sandra Betzina Vogue uh, 1442. This is the uh, off the shoulder dress. And so I will be doing that in this fabric, which is, uh, which one is this? <clears throat> this is a, it's a floral print double brush. It's so soft. Um, white, black, magenta, 
polyester lycra. This was on sale for $3.99 and I got two and a half yards also from Fabric Mart. And it's very soft, so, so soft. Um, but, and it has the stretch this way, but not so much that way, which is what I was looking for. And so that is this print. So it is so soft. It is so super soft. Um, but yes, love that. So that is what that will be also from Fabric Mart. And I will link to all these fabrics down in the description box if they are still available. If you don't see them down there, you know they weren't available. So, you know, I was planning on doing um, the uh, designer stitch uh, Ella Cami, but I have decided um, I am going to switch that out and do the Springfield top instead. This one in particular, because um, it's a nice, um, I'm liking that I really won't have to mess with the, the straps or anything at all. And so, which is the, here's the line drawing for that. So I am going to do uh, view, is the same what view, view A. I will be doing view A um, for this one. And so what I have found for that, the fabric I found from that, also from Fabric Mart um, on a different occasion. This one I know won't be available. This was one of their um, pre-cuts. And so um, I only had, I think I picked up the last bit of it. I'm not sure. But it was only uh, seven eighths of a yard. No, I'm sorry, almost two yards. And it was $3.20 for two yards, just under two yards. And um, so this is what I got for that. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? nice and drapey so that's going to make a very beautiful spring top and i am going to make um some uh the m7131 like i said uh as the bottoms as some um, bottoms to go with these tops i'm just not going to show that fabric because it's going to be real plain nothing spectacular it'll be i'm looking for a nice cotton linen which i think i found and so that's what i'll get so that is this is what the springfield top will be i think yeah I should have shown it pretty good. So that is that. All right, people. Then I am also making, oh, I am making a top. Did I show this already? Forgive me if I did. This has, uh, this is another part of my haul that I am you know making what the Rebecca Taylor thir uh, Vogue 1395. And I have... The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I picked this up from So Much Fabric. Um, I believe she is out. I want to say I may have picked up the last bit, but if there is some left, I'll link it below. But this is an Island Tropical Print, Rayon Poplin and Kelly Green. And this was um, $13 a yard, and I got it, got three and a half yards. So, so pretty. When I saw this, I was like, yes. Look so let that. me try to open it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's so drapey. It's so soft. It is going to, that movement, oh, it smells so good. But anyway, and that movement is going to be beautiful in that dress. So I am so excited about that. Um, yes. So. I have that for the M6044 again. And so I found this at Fabric Mart. This is a cotton um, linen blend. And this was $6.80 a yard. And I got one and a half yards for his top. Hopefully you can see that. See that design? He was fine with the design. And so this will be his, one of his. I'm making two. One will be just a regular black uh, um, linen but um this here design uh for his his m6044 so he even got a, a piece of the pie here now moving on i am also doing oops i'm falling all over the place here there is the you guys know i was planning to do two charlie caftans which is this pattern here the longer version um but i end up seeing um, decades of style caftan so one of my caftans will be this one Charlie cap uh, the Charlie caftan and I am using this fabric which also came from fabric mark this was 
four dollars a yard and I bought four yards and this is called um, this is a cotton lawn navy white multi geometric print and so I want to say this would be my first time working with cotton lawn and so um, so look at that I mean this is how it looks it has a nice amount of drape it's not overly drapey this cotton lawn but it is so pretty hopefully you can see that um, so yes love 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 that so that will be one caftan I'll be making um, so I'm excited about that and the second one that so I, the second one I will be making will be the decades of style caftan I absolutely love this pattern I started seeing it pop up on Instagram and I was like I don't know that one but it's so pretty and I found what I believe is the perfect fabric for this this came from tech I'll have to put it I'll put right put it here or down here you'll see because I think I will pronounce it wrong but oh my gosh this is a silk this was $14.99 a yard and I want to say I got four yards I think but let me show you what it is so gorgeous so so gorgeous and it's called go girl I'm gonna have to stand up look at that that's the that's towards the bottom so the top part of the fabric is here so yes pattern placement will be very important because I want the girls the ladies on the front to show but look at that isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous and so they have on different outfits look at that <laughs> isn't that cute so so cute oh my gosh so cute so cute so yes that will be the um decades of style captain and i am so excited about making that out of this this is so drapery it is so soft i've never ordered from them before and so this was my first time it took longer than i expected to receive but um that is fine it came and so it is here so i am so excited about that i have to fold that up separately um and then so that is the decades of style um fabric i also have my oh you guys know i am doing the vogue 9253 i have purchased this from if you all follow lilu designs again i'll link down below where i uh, bought this from but this is an african print so pretty and this was called i think purple i forget the exact name but if it's any left on the site i will link to it and so i've already put it on the bolt so i can unravel it properly but that's kind of the top part and then the design on the bottom part so again pattern placement will be important when i lay this out but so so pretty a very nice um nice weight and um i've ordered from lilu designs before and her fabric her african print fabric is very 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 nice very high quality so so excited about that as you can see i've already cut it out i mean not cut it out but put it on the bolt for easy unraveling then remember my um anniversary day dress which the um ins inspiration pick is here i'll pop that here but here um and so with that pick this is the perfect pattern for it as you can tell here's the line drawing right so i am doing this dress right here and i picked this up from i want to say i did i do a well i didn't do a swatch on this one but um i picked this beauty here it is look at that look at that so nice and drapey this is a um georgette i picked up from stitchy b in the uk so this took this took i ordered this like on a thursday i had it by that following tuesday so so fast but um look at that look at that drape and it is um you can see through it so i will be making a slip to go underneath this and i saw the seam work i forgot seam work pattern slip um i saw i think i would like because i like the straps on that one we shall see but um look at that isn't that pretty 
isn't that gorgeous that is so gorgeous so yes i will be making that dress um with this fabric and i got this was ooh, oh i didn't write it down i'll put it on the screen i'll put it on the screen i want to say this might have been 5.99 a yard something like that but i'll put it on the screen and i bought i know i, I know i bought uh five yards Yes, I bought five yards. Or it might have been $6.99. I'm, yes. No, I'm way off. I'll put it on the screen how much I paid for it. But look at that. So, so pretty. And if she has more, I will link that down below. Now, the other thing was, I have purchased this as well. And this is a, um, this is from Fabric Mart. This is a, uh, a crepe de chine. Um, very, very nice. And I actually was going to do one of the caftans out of this, but decided I'm just going to hold on to this and do something else with this. I'm not sure what yet, but this here is, this was on sale. This was one of their, um, I want to say Sue's Picks, Julie's Picks, or is it Sue's Picks now? Um, it was $2.99 a yard and I got four and a half yards. So very nice and drapey. It's not all that translucent. But depending on what I make, I may need to line it um, or make um, a slip to go underneath, depending on what it is I make. So, yes, absolutely love that. I will save that. I think I shared this with you guys. So I'm going to go quick just in case I did. I picked up this purple linen. This is not for my anniversary collection, though. This is for a skirt, the, Arab, um, the Rebecca Page Arabelle skirt, I think I showed. And so... Yes, that is all ready. And let me tell you how I treated this. So Elizabeth made this. Thank you so much. Gave me the tip on um, um, washing it, washing it in the hot water. Hopefully I'm not saying this backwards. And with detergent and then putting it in the dryer, um, hot dryer. Um, and so then I was watching, who was it? I want to say it was Sean from Kidnish Behavior. And then she said how... Sandra Betzina, there was a post on some on somebody's Instagram feed that talked about the steps. And I was like, you know what? I have Sandra Betzina's book. And so I looked in the book and her book said to iron it first. Um, uh, dry iron first, then wash it. Part two was then wash it in detergent um, uh, in the wash and then dry it and then iron it again. So that is what I did. And I can't tell that if it lost any color. Still a nice, very, very nice purple linen. And I bought this from um, Fabric Mart. I think I shared this already. Um, it was on sale for $10 a yard. This is 100% linen. And so, and I bought three yards. So, and then I'm making the Rebecca Page Brielle top to go with the Arabelle skirt. And I purchased this, which is a... Um, rayon floral print chali look at that isn't that pretty so drapey and i bought this was on sale for 3.99 a yard and i bought three yards i most certainly didn't need three yards for that top but i thought it was very pretty i can always use the top for something else i may be able to squeeze in another springfield top um with this to take on my trip we shall see but that is it, everybody. That is, this was a long video, I know. I will try to edit out as much as I can, get it down a little bit. Um, so I think that is it. The other items that I have for my anniversary collection are the, um, the totes, uh, different things of that nature. I'll share that. Um, I plan to do a kind of... Uh, you know, what I pack video or something like that or something to that effect. Or I might just wait until after I do my um, pieces where you see everything because you won't see the final pieces that I create until after my vacation. So probably won't be another anniversary collection video until after the middle of August. So keep an eye out for that. But the other things that I'll be making, um, I'm just getting simple fabric for or I haven't decided like for the totes the fabric I'll be using. So again, you'll see all that later. But that is it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for tuning into this long video. If you made it all the way to the end, 
thumbs up to you and thumbs up this video if you liked it. Again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video, which will be my final video for my pattern stash, my indie pattern stash. So keep an eye out for that. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell and tune in. All right, everybody. Have a good one.